Once you have planned out how you want your paper to look and sound, it's time to start writing the actual paper. The drafting stage is one of the biggest pieces of the entire process, as you take all of the brainstorming and planning you have accomplished and weave them together to show the audience what you think and feel. Remember that your first draft will not be your final one. Think of your first draft as your first step. You will end up changing it at least once, so don't worry about making it perfect the first time. A coach would never put a player in the game who had never practiced, so you should never turn in a draft that has not been tested at least once. Give yourself time. If you wait until the last minute to write your paper, you will not have time to revise and rethink your ideas. Make manageable goals for yourself, such as, I plan to select a topic through brainstorming one week after the project has been assigned, or I will have my first draft finished two weeks before it is due so I can revise it. Don't set ridiculous goals for yourself but also don't set goals that waste time. Be reasonable with yourself and your abilities and plan to spend a great deal of time drafting and revising. You'll be moving between these two stages a great deal. Support your point. Once you have established what your main point will be, use research to support your ideas. Be specific rather than general and use details to prove your points as strongly as possible. When in doubt, be obvious. We will never know unless you tell us. Also consider the rhetorical modes you identified for your paper back in the planning stage. Make sure that the format of your paper and your supporting evidence always match. Use citations from your research. Using quotes and material from other sources can lend your paper a great deal of credibility in the eyes of others. However, keep in mind that this is your paper and should not be a bunch of quotes from other sources rearranged into a new paper. Your research should never replace your writing. Strive for a balance between your thoughts and the thoughts of others. Clarify your point. There are three qualities that should be present when you discuss your main point. Plainness, brevity, and variety. Plainness refers to the voice of your paper. Be as clear as you can so that your points cannot possibly be misunderstood. Use a voice that you would use with an older adult with whom you're having an intelligent conversation. Brevity means that you should be short and to the point. Say what you mean to say and be done with it. Don't use long, complicated phrases or flowery language. Using active voice will help you avoid this. Make sure your verbs are doing something in every sentence. Variety refers to your sentence structure. Don't use the same subject-verb-object format for every sentence you write. Experiment with different kinds of sentences and experiment with sentence length. The whole point of the drafting process is to figure out how you want your paper to read and look, and you cannot effectively do that in one draft. So play. View your draft as a conversation. Your paper draft should be flexible and open to change. Why should your paper's point remain the same if you change your mind? There's absolutely nothing wrong with changing your opinion or points, as long as you make sure your evidence still supports them. Just like a spoken conversation, a paper is a written conversation with an invisible audience. You are creating a dialogue that will constantly change and adapt to new circumstances and research. Begin in the middle. Many students get stuck in their introductions because they can't find just the right way to begin their papers. This ends up wasting time. If the introduction is giving you trouble, begin in the middle or at the end. Write on an idea you're excited about. Write in any order you choose. No one made a rule that you had to begin at the beginning. Sometimes beginning in the middle will give you bursts of inspiration for other sections of your paper. Write these ideas down so you don't forget. Write around problem spots. If you reach a spot that's giving you trouble, write yourself a note and move on. Highlight or underline the spot or keep a log about sections you're unsure about. It's perfectly fine to make notes to yourself within your drafts for later, as long as you remember to take them out at the end. This allows you to create the sections of your paper you feel the most strongly about and come back to the weaker parts later. Save multiple drafts. Every time you open a computer file to begin a new draft or edit an old one, save that draft under a new name using a number or letter system. This way you can not only track the progress of your writing, but you can also access deleted material. Be sure to back up your hard drive often, or save your files on a portable jump drive or external hard drive to protect them. Drafting is the phase where you can experiment with your points and evidence and see how everything fits together. Don't be afraid to play around with order, format, or structure. You can always change what you've written, so go ahead and write it down and see how it looks. No one will see any of your drafts but your final one if you don't want them to. So allow yourself to be flexible and even a bit silly with your writing. See you in the next stage.